this is something random, but this is something that I've been holding in for so long and I get tired of faking. I do it for entertainment purposes because, you know, people find it very entertaining and I have to be animated. I have to be Kiki. Kiki cuss a lot. You know, they love Kiki. However, me, myself, Keisha, in my top five pet peeves. One number one on the freaking list. I had to put this number one on the list because uh, it's something that really bothers me. Cigarettes and cigarette smoke. I hate, it's not even a dislike. I hate, despise people who smoke cigarettes. And I hate cigarette smoke. I hate it. I hate it. I don't want to kiss you. I don't want you near me. I don't want to taste your tongue. Ew. Disgusting. Vomit. Ugh. A complete turn off. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, I, I just don't. I'll probably tolerate cigar smoke because I think cigar smoke smells kind of good, honestly. I will never smoke a cigar. Never have, honestly. But I don't mind it. Cigarette smoke, I can't deal with it. Cigar, I'll probably tolerate it to a certain extent until it's getting too overwhelming. And I'm like, no. Call me hypocritical, but it is what it is. Number freaking two. <clears throat> ignorant slash arrogant people. People who are so freaking ignorant, it makes me want to cry. To the point of irritation. I'd be so irritated. Let me rephrase that. That I want to cry. Because I'm thinking you're so brainwashed and stupid. It's ridiculous. I am presenting you with all of this evidence of the truth. I don't even have to present it to you. You can just see it for yourself. But you believe that the media and the teachers or your family or your mom, brother, whatever, is are telling you the truth about things. And you're, you're thinking, okay, they can't be lying. Everybody can't be lying. Yes, they can be lying because they was lied too. You tell people the truth. And they arrogantly and confidently be telling you that you don't know what you're talking about. And when they feel that, okay, she's not listening to me, she thinks she yada, 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 they go to the result of insulting you, insulting your intelligence, because they feel that you are the arrogant and the stupid one. Even though they're not giving you any evidence of their side of the story and their point of view. I despise arrogant and freaking ignorant people. Most of the time, I either delete their comments or I just don't say anything to them because I'd be that irritated. Seriously. You know, okay, I, I'm done. I'm not going to even... Be, I'm not going to even level myself to even try to debate with your stupid behind. Why even freaking bother? I don't have the time and I don't have the patience or the mental capacity to even go there with you. What for? It's like, I'm in the wall. I'm done. Be stupid. If that's what you want to be, fine by me. Number three, constant swearing. I don't like cursing. I really don't. Unless I'm really passionate about something, like I'm having a conversation with my husband, I might say the F word, the S word, the D word or something like that. But I actually, I really do not like cursing. For real. For the longest, I didn't curse at all. And when I did curse, my husband was like, oh my gosh, you cursed. You know, why are you cursing in me? <laughs> he still do that, honestly. Unless, you know, I'm trying to be animated or I'm passionate. Even then, he'll still be taken back. You know, and my daughter. You know, but you know when I'm slipping into Kiki, so she used to that. You know, especially depending on our conversation where Kiki is more prevalent and more able to express this person a lot more clear than Keisha. You know, but I don't like cursing. When I listen back to my live shows, I'm like thinking, why did I curse so much? Oh, I didn't have to. But I know people respond and they think cursing is entertaining because they like that ratchet. And I don't like saying ghetto because that's not what ghetto is. But that's what people think ghetto is. They like that kind of behavior. But I hate cursing. It's not ladylike. <laughs> I hate it. I really do. And I was thinking, I'm, I'm not going to curse anymore. I don't care if I do sound square. I might slip up and say hell or damn or something like that or the S word, but I am not cursing. I'll be a freaking heck, darn it, maybe a hell person and damn it, 
person. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. From here on, I just can't. Listening to those live shows and all that cursing, it was like, I cringe. I can't. <laughs> Call me a square or a bougie person. I'm a broke bougie person, person okay? I don't got no money. But, you know, I just can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> and my five one is bad kissers. I love kissing. I'm an affectionate person. If I really care about you and I love you, whatever, I'm in love with you. I love kissing. I love French kissing. I would kiss you. I would kiss your neck. I love kissing. I can't do that to my husband because, A, we barely see each other. And he's not a great kisser. He used to be, but he's not anymore. So that's something I had to get used to. I don't like it. And I make that abundantly clear to him. You know, I don't know what happened to him. It's like I'm dealing with an entirely different man sometimes. He's so different from many years ago. It's as if he's a different person. Anyway, but those are my top pet, pet peeves. Tell me yours below. I would love to read them and see if yours is the same as mine. I'm dying to read them. This is just something random because we're always talking about celebrity and the world is in such chaos and havoc. I just want to talk about something really stupid. Love you all and tell me your five pet peeves below. Bye-bye.